Thank you, colleagues. It's uh, with great honor that uh, we kick off uh, the Italian American Heritage Month uh, today. Um, how appropriate that we stand before you in the John Ferraro Council Chambers, where he's shining down upon us, right, Tom? And yes, for John Ferraro. Yes. And as a, as, a, as a kid growing up in the city, when John Ferraro was on TV, my dad would nudge me and say, son, John Ferraro, he's Italian. So uh, he reminded me of that growing up in this great city. Um, I am a proud first generation Italian American and it's a great honor to be standing here honoring the great contributions of our fellow Italian Americans as your elected official representing the great 15th. As many of you know, Italian Americans have a rich history in the founding and growth of this continent and this nation. In fact, I was at the Watts Towers over the last weekend uh, when I uh, continue to hear and celebrate the story of Sabata Rodia, who uh, immigrated here. And when I heard his story and saw the great work he did at the Watts Towers, it reminded me of my parents who immigrated here from Italy nearly over, over 40 years ago. How they came, as, as you see my family here before me, they came to this country for an opportunity to come work, provide for the family, and. The uh, Los Angeles Harbor is home to over 45,000 Italian Americans, the largest Italian American community in the state. And in, in 1524, let's talk a little history, Giovanni de Veranzo, a mariner from Florence, Italy, set foot in what is now Rhode Island. His arrival at Block Island and his observation that it was about the size of an island of Rhodes later gave Rhode Island its name. Italian Americans have made great contributions to American societies economically, artistically, culturally, scientifically, and politically. Italians and Italian Americans invented pianos, violins, calendars, radios, telescopes, compasses, microscopes, thermometers, eyeglasses, steam engines, typewriters, and batteries. And they're also great cooks, too. <laughs> and Italian, <laughs> Italian Americans have toiled and labored while helping to build our nation's infrastructure, including railroads, tunnels, highways, and subways. The Italian presence in Los Angeles began in 1827 with Giovanni Leandri, a native of Sardinia, Sardinia, who established a business and built a home in the Pueblo, adjacent to where Union Station currently stands and the heart of the Italian enclave was located at what we know today as El Pueblo Historical Monument, Chinatown and Lincoln Heights, and Italians have made significant contributions to the development of Los Angeles and California from the fields of banking, science, agricultural, transportation, and entertainment, and are responsible for landmarks such as the Watts Towers, Guasti Villa, Venice Canals, and the Biltmore Hotel. My hometown, the community of San Pedro in the 15th district, is home, as I mentioned, to an estimated 45,000 Italian Americans, making it home to the largest Italian American community in the state. Um, many San Pedro Italian social clubs are here before you that I like to honor, uh, that I grew up with as, a, as an Angelino in the San Pedro area. And today is a uh, proud day to be the first Italian American to represent the 15th. I continue to be humbled, grateful, and blessed. As Mayor Villaraigosa was saying yesterday, is a city that really thrives with diversity and with the contribution yes. of so many different communities. And Italian Americans are so uh, are so intertwined, so uh, special to the uh, to the economic, social, but also urban landscape in Los Angeles. So it gives me great honor, uh, alongside uh, Mr. Labange, and to um, highlight and kick off. October 2012, the Italian American Heritage Month in the city of Los Angeles. Present, I'd like to present this to Mr. Peroni, Italian Consul General. Thank you so much. I want to say something. Gianni talk, talked about a lot of Italians who were here. I want to remind uh, to the people who don't know, the king who colonized California, Alta California, was one third of Borbone, the son of an Italian princess, Italian blood and French blood. So we've been here for a very long time. Thank you. The IMLA feels fortunate not only to be your partners in the promotion of cultural tourism in the city of Los Angeles, but also in raising awareness of the unparalleled diversity of the city of LA. Yes. We hope in the near future, maybe next year, that this day is marked by a parade that begins at the Italian American Museum, <laughs> fulfilling, <laughs> fulfilling uh, 
our dearly departed John Ferraro's wishes, continuing to City Hall and then making a very long yet well worth it journey to San Pedro Dream to, <laughs> to continue with the largest community of Italian Americans in the region. The Italians are alive and well in Los Angeles and Southern California. I have the honor of representing over 70 different Italian American organizations with over 130 chapters in Los Angeles and Southern California. So through all those people, we will be having amazing activities throughout the month of October, followed by an open invitation to everyone to join us on Sunday, October 14th at Casa Italiana, where we celebrate Columbus Day. And also to celebrate the Italian American Heritage Month, I, I'm hosting a spaghetti with the councilman uh, on October 8th from 4 to 9 p.m. at 1903 South Cabrillo. Everyone's invited and uh, we hope to see everyone there as well. So uh, 1903 South Cabrillo in front of the Italian American Club in San Pedro. That's October 8th, Monday. Thank you, Forza Italia. Grazie. Now, thank you.